You guys stand up and show everybody the height difference. Feel my booster we both seat. have heels on. <laughs> Look at that! Go back to back. Oh, let's just really show it off. Yeah, and let me clarify, I'm not the giant. I am only 5'7". Brooke, go ahead. Tell She's your just height. tiny. I'm five foot. Hi, I'm Brooke. And this is my sister Paige. And my mom, Kelly. And we are about to take a look at our journey on Dance Moms. Yay! Let's get into it. <laughs> Roll the <to> clips. <laughs> Wrap. My, my friends think my mom is an icon. Brooke, hurry up. You're already eight minutes late for class. Then drive to my house and pick her up, Abby. That's not the way it works. Tell her to call a taxi. She's 14. Oh, oh God. Mom. I always say I was the crazy mom. They made me out that I was the mom that was always drinking, which that wasn't true all the time. All, all the, the time. time. <laughs> when you mess with my kids, my mama bear comes out. So I'm proud to be the crazy mom. I don't mom. think you were the crazy mom. Out of all the moms on the show, I wouldn't call you crazy. <laughs> no. I was crazier. Good. I'm glad to see that you think that. Put something in it. Go in there, step up her choreography so she has a chance to beat Kendall. It's but you won't do that because it's Paige. Paige had a solo that week, and she only had two hours of practice within the whole month. And Abby had her in gymnastics class. So I was going down to the front desk just to say, why is she in gymnastics class and not learning her solo? Abby? Yes. Can we speak to you for a moment? Certainly. What's up? There's a lot expected of our girls this week with yes. everything going on. Why are they in a gymnastics class and not working on their solos? <laughs> well, your daughter is really weak in gymnastics and she needs to work on it. My Paige daughter is great in gymnastics. Class here. I mean, someone has to teach her her dance. She's known her dance since last Abby, summer in she Florida. learned her dance for an hour last summer. Right. We pulled it because she didn't know it and the costume didn't work. And she learned it for an hour last week and has never run it since. That's two hours. That is not. Just laughing at Abby teaching basic math. That's two hours. <laughs> yeah, and it sucks. Put something in it. Go in there, step up her choreography so she has a chance to beat Kendall. But you won't do that because it's Paige. The fact that you learned your dance in two hours and they get four hours a day for two weeks. Well, obviously somebody's dance is gonna be better than the others. Mm -hmm. uh, everything relating to your solos were always unfair. Everything, and that's mm -hmm. always what I thought about. You know what we need to change is this thing where you do, what, what is that thing where you go like this and like this? Okay. Did we change that? Okay, cause that's ugly. I wanna change Paige's dance. And I know by me doing that, Paige is gonna get in trouble, but I'm really just doing this to help my kid. And then how about you do like a fan kick or something up? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll add some harder stuff to it. I don't wanna do the dance because Abby's gonna throw a chair again. Aww. Aww. Done. We won't even show her that we changed it. Then she's gonna yell at me when I get off stage. And who cares? I think I did not want you teaching me my dance. I wanted you to go upstairs and like, please leave me alone. You could tell. <laughs> because I'm not a dance teacher. I didn't know how to choreograph a dance. Anytime you were like, here, come here. I'm like, go away, when please. You, turn, you are not my teacher. When you turned your head, I could tell you were holding back an eye roll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was, there was one about to come out. This is Paige, a junior Miss Next Star contestant. The second the first move that I changed came on, Abby was like, what was that? She's rolling around, her feet are all sickled underneath her. She does the cartwheel over the chair into a side area. Her legs are bent, her feet are sloppy. Kelly, you're much more successful at the real bar, not the ballet bar. Stick to what you do best. so proud of Paige. She went against Abby and did the dance that she wanted to do. And I think that takes a lot of courage. I think I respect you trying to push me to get me better choreography and getting me up to the level everyone else is on. I feel like you were the only one on my side rooting for me, trying to get me the yeah. best that I could. I was silently on your side. <laughs> <laughs> if that was me as a mother, I feel like I would have been even worse than you because you were always just sticking up for us and protecting That's us. Good. If 
your mom doesn't look out for the best interest for you, then who will? Seventh place, 448 is Tongue Twister. That's Kelly is going to be beaming. Look at that. I got good choreography, and I won. That, that was definitely the choreographer. Maybe that should be my new job. I should be a dance teacher. I don't know about that. <laughs> trials are coming up. When are the trials? The same day as the competition. You're at the top of the pyramid this week. The cheerleading tryouts were coming up and they happened to be on the same day as our dance competition and I needed to decide which I wanted to attend. Well, I think it was kind of an easy decision because you went to a dance competition every single weekend and this was a one-time thing. And I think you made the right decision. I agree. What are you doing, Peanut? My homework. Cheerleading trials are coming up. When are the trials? The same day as the competition. You're at the top of the pyramid this week. So not only I do I have to them. tell her you're going to cheerleading tryouts, but you have to skip the competition. I don't ever want her to come back to me and say, you made me go away for the dance competition, so I didn't get the tryout for cheerleading. And I regret not doing anything like that in my high school years. So I need Brooke to make that decision. You're like the lead in the dance for once in your life. Do you realize like she's going to kill us? I really don't want to ruin our group number and hurt my team, but also cheerleading could be something that I'm really interested in. You do realize though that if I tell Abby that you're not going because you're going to cheerleading, she probably won't let you back in the studio. I think I knew I wanted to go to cheerleading. I think I just was scared of how Abby was going to take it. I don't think she's coming this weekend. We had a long discussion, and there's something that came up at school that she wants to do, and I'm going to allow her to do it. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. So she's out. You're making a decision for me and for everybody in this group. You're letting a 13-year-old kid dictate my future and their future. But I'm letting my 13-year-old dictate her future. She knew when she was at the top of that pyramid, and this is where it's bad parenting, Kelly. She should have opened her mouth and said, Abby, let somebody else be at the top of the pyramid this week. That is a mature 13-year-old, not screwing everybody and stabbing them in the back. But I don't think she's screwing any of them. She's screwing me. I can feel it. I d disagree with you, but I, I wanted you to make that decision yourself. I was really scared of the outcome, but I pushed that aside, and I did what I wanted to do, and I'm really happy I did that. It worked out in the end, so. You got back on the team. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do cheerleading and dance. Woo! -hoo. That's me cheering my pom-poms and doing a toe touch. <laughs> <laughs>
I can't physically do this and risk permanent damage. I was watching Brooke laying on the floor and it's just going through my head, you know, should I have her dance? Shouldn't I have her dance? I just had to draw the line there. I knew what I had to do as a mom. Abby, I don't think Brooke's gonna do her solo. It hurts when she breathes. I don't know how she's gonna do it. I got her ice, I put this on, I, I don't know what else I can do. I can't let her hurt herself to do dance. It's obviously hurting her that she can't do it. I want her to do it, she wants to do it, but I don't think she can. I wish Kelly would have pulled Brooke's solo earlier, because then maybe Kendall would be dancing a solo today as well. Brooke, you know, it didn't have anything to do with all those other girls there warming up. Abby, it was hurting before we even came to this building. I think Kelly and Brooke have it all cooked up. They're going to pull this number because she knows that there are really great dancers here. She does not want to get on that stage and not win. Brooke, if you are going to continue to stand like a three-year-old with that sway back, your back is going to hurt. You and I both know that lazy gets you nowhere. I gave you an amazing number, and now you're not going to do it? No one's ever going to see it? She can't do it. I told you guys before, you make choices every single day. Make the right one. I can't let her hurt herself to do a dance. I'm sorry. Her health is more important. It was my mom trying to protect us. Looking back now as an adult, that was the right decision. Abby used to tell me to grind out my hip pain, grind the bone down. You just have to grind that down. Those hip flexors, they catch on the bone as she's growing, and you need to open that turnout up. So as it happens, it grinds down, and then it won't hurt anymore. Miss Abby said that I should, like, grind it down, but that's just her opinion. I don't really trust her. I'm really glad as a child I didn't take her medical advice. I mean, I always showed you guys when people weren't loyal mm -hmm. to me, like, and how it hurts people. And you only have certain people in your lives that you can trust. Two of them are sitting right here. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm just so proud of you guys because you had such a hard childhood growing up in the public eye and having mean comments on social media. You guys have just come through it so well. And I'm so proud of the young ladies you've become. Thank you. <laughs> We just want to go!